Good morning guys. In this video I will show you how to import from older our networking tool emulation which which was IOU web and how to import labs and how to tune them for UNL. I will not say that this process will be very convenient but at least you will need not to use CLI to run some scripts or so on. We got it. You can import these labs but later you will need to tune them for UNL. The one more bad thing actually is uh, in UNL we don't use the multi configurations for one rack what, what that which which was possible in an IOU web. Therefore you can you can export lab from IOU web only a single lab with a single configuration. And this will not be solved and we are not we will go for this that to, to assign some multi configurations in UNL at least now yes yeah, and please accept how it is yes yeah, and if some some good and smart guys can can sort them and later you can share this uh, share this uh, already prepared UNL labs yeah it's, you can export and give to your friends so let let's start i found one very old one uh, UN IOU web machine. It's, it's somewhere in my archives. Yeah, it's and uh, let's try. So uh, I would like to. So the first thing, the lab will be exported only with the configuration which is assigned on it on the present moment. If we are going to edit of the IOU web lab, you can see that assigned is which one is the IP addressing. Cool. Good. I'm going back now to laboratories and I would like to export. That's me. How, how to do this. I'm going to manage and export labs. We're choosing a rack, which we lab actually, which we want to export. And we know that the export configuration is that one IP IP addressing. We just verified. Okay. And I'm saying to export, download, save. And I created on a desktop the folder for these exports and I'm saying to save. Done. Now I'm going to the Unified Networking Lab and saying Actions and Import External Objects. And I'm showing, say, saying Browse and choosing the IOU Web exp Export. OK, Open and Import. You can see the imported folder, the new appeared here. And if you are going deeper, here is your lab. Let's go. Let's go in. That's not it, guys. That's not it. It's not so easy. <laughs> Open up, and you can see that mess is is in a topology. It will be definitely if you will import some larger topologies. It will be in one big heap inside. Yeah, it's maybe 30 or 40 nodes, as I will show you a little bit later. And as you see, the icon as well there is not switch, but like in a rotor, right? Why it's rotor? Why it's not not accepting some switch symbol or something like that? Because the UNL is absolutely is different code is used, different icons are used in in UNL. That's why it is simply not possible. Simply not possible. So how to tune now to these guys and ready to work? Yeah, it's sent to prepare. Okay, I'm going to um, notes and look at this. Here are node names and the node IDs are assigned. And that's fine, but Images, images are similar, and everywhere is the same image, even for switch. In this case, it's simple and easy. That's because it's only single switch we have here. It's and I'm going. Yeah, maybe you pr you will you will prefer the another one image. Yeah, then you should go to inside of each of the node and change this image. Unfortunately, but how that's how it works. So I'm going to change switch. Edit. I am choosing proper image which layer 2 image and I'm choosing the uh, icon will be switch and I'm saying save. Good. Yeah, it's actually I see the RAM is correct. Yeah, it's RAM is good. Yeah, it's uh, that's fine. So I chosen this image and now you can see if you are going back, you can see the switch is correct now, corrected and the image as well for switch is corrected. So the first part the first part is done. So I I Drag and drop, yeah, it's uh, for more convenient use, yeah, it's and let's check the next one, the initial configurations. I'm going to start up configs here and look at this. I'm clicking on the nodes, on the, no on the node names, yeah, it's and the configuration persists. The next step I would like to assign to boot this lab for this configuration, from this configuration. I'm saying to wipe all nodes first, 
clean up everything. Second step, set all startup configurations to export it. Good. And now we are ready to start this lab. And I'm starting all nodes. And let's check if, they, if it boots and everything is fine. Okay, I'm going in. Let's wait. Yeah, it's a new can see it's a configuration is loaded. Yeah, and the R1 interface appear. It show run. Yeah, it's and some tunnelings are actually started to work. Yeah, it's and you can see that it works. This is the first part of how to import your labs into the UNL. But the next one, the next one, you know and remember that the custom topologies was used. Custom topologies were used into the IOU web. This actually I created such video. Yeah, it's an and shown you how to assign the clicks on a custom topologies. Let me check now. Ah, no, it's, uh, let let me start it again. Uh, okay. And if you are going to the pictures, pictures as well are exported from uh, IOU web, and you can see these pictures here. Yeah, you can just verify. This is a picture. Yeah, it's and we started the labs, and I will try to click on this one. Actually, it doesn't work. Actually, that's let's let me try. Check refresh. Refresh and opening a picture. Oh no, it's not a picture. This picture is here. Mm. And the ports and assignments are missed, so the clicks are doesn't work. How to do this? This topology can be can be as well. Uh, reassign these clicks manually unfortunately we cannot get this automatically in yeah that's that's my apologize but this is the only way how you can get them in let me do this so i'm going to close and stop the lab okay stop all notes for more convenient use i recommend to open the second screen yeah it's actually second uh, second web to your unl and you can check so which node is assigned so first no first click goes to r1 second to switch and all rest are going in a sequence okay let's do it so i'm going back and so i'm calling out the pictures and uh, which one is the first, second uh, something something different okay i'm going to the first picture and i'm going to edit and starting so the next step the clean up the all all coordinations here and start to click on your notes the first click was goes to r1 R1. Second, second was switch. Yeah, it's actually it's not here. Yeah, it's okay somewhere switch. I don't know. It's where where we can click it. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's do that without switch. R2, R3, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9 10 I guess so the first node was number 1 and the other then then was a switch which was node 2 and the second router is node 3 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 okay good i'm saying to save and let's check it now so so i'm going back and so i will start the notes again i'll start on notes i'm calling out a picture and let's start to check now yeah and you can see that it started to work yeah so my clicks are assigned properly and if i'm clicking on the notes yeah you can see that there it's opening correctly and, and nicely well okay that's how yes we have to tune unfortunately but once you did it you can simply export these together with configurations yeah, it's very simple to export from unl no need to mark anything like it's just just to mark this lab once wants to be exported yet yeah, it will automatically export with all configurations now let me uh yeah notes running i cannot leave a lab until running notes i'm saying to stop all notes Okay, the one back, and let's do next. 
yeah it's uh, if you wish for example the same rack same rack like like that one I need so I recommend to rename it first if you want to get the same rack but with the different configuration edit lab and I'm saying this uh, lab, lab with IP CFG configuration actually yeah okay I'm saying to save and we are going now back to the IOU web and I would like to export uh, no it's one more thing it's needed yeah so going to edit and we assign the configuration for this one which you need to be needs to be exported and I would like to see it would, would be OSPF routing for example okay and I'm safe these all things are signed and now we are ready to export so what I'm going to export export labs I am marking the same rack right and marking the OSPF configuration which we assigned for this lab and I'm going OSPF routing so export download saving to my my destination good and so I'm going to unified networking lab yeah, same saying actions import external object pros this is a second export open and import if you are going to the import you're going to see two labs the IP we did it before and so I'm going to inside of this one and the configuration should be another probably the OSPF initial configuration before you start to go yeah it's a, that's how you can you can in, ex, import yeah it's a making many labs yeah it's actually this is the same rack but with different configurations the last one thing left yeah it's actually the most 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 horrible maybe <laughs> okay let me try to import something something bigger okay I'm going to manage and export labs and I will choose some troubleshoot lab which is TSV4 clean for example and the configuration let's let me check is if if the configuration is assigned correctly for that lab uh, where is it probably here TSV5 and clean this one I think so yes okay it's edit edit and let's go check the configuration which the, so it is assigned it's a ts5 v4 that's fine so so we are going back just be sure that some configuration which you want to export it is assigned here and i'm go go back to go back to manage and we can start to export export i wish to export my tsv4 clean and the configuration pack ts5 v4 clean this one okay I'm going to export and the download and the save file save good now I'm going back to unified networking labs uh, and saying uh, import external object pros and the last one I guess the last one was yeah it's a probably last one and we importing it if you are open up you can see the TS clean lab is imported but scary open and you can see now the total mess you have to go even each node to verify everything yeah, it's to change a proper iOS and so on so on but as I'm saying you again yeah it's, so we cannot do better yeah it's like it is it, it is here so if you I recommend to use the nodes and you go go through one by one and check the configurations configurations uh, proper for switches yeah it's because switches is not 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 okay it's an icon as well it's, it's like an a router and the next step if it is very important lab for you it is reassign we need to reassign a clicks here so these clicks if you are going to edit these clicks are messed up unfortunately we cannot do anything here so I hope it somehow will help you to import labs actually it's easier than to do it from CLI and thank you for viewing